your guide on the quest to the Holy Belgian Violin School. In this episode, I'll play for you the second Etude de Concert by Henri Vieuxton. Vieuxton was born in 1820 in Verviers and he studied with Charles Auguste Berriot in Brussels. He was without any doubt a child prodigy and he met a lot of the classical music celebrities of his time, such as Louis Spohr and Robert Schumann, at a very young age. Robert Schumann wrote about his encounter, Just like a fragrance bewitches us, his playing is mesmerizing. We remain unwittingly captivated, as if wrapped in a magical circle. When he was only 14, in 1834, he was the first one to play the famous Beethoven Violin Concerto after the composer's death. This concert was praised unanimously by the critics, and also the director of the Vienna Music Conservatory was very enthusiastic, and he wrote to Vieuxton, You will soon become the first violinist in Europe, because you combine a strong stroke of the bow with brilliant execution, spirit, insight and an exquisite sensitivity. You will be the founder of a classical violin school that will be a model for all musicians. A visionary letter. In the same year, Vieuxton travelled to London and there he met Niccolo Paganini, and Paganini's playing would have a lasting influence on him. When he was 25, I think, he became the official soloist and violin teacher of the Russian Tsar, but he left this position after five years, in 1851, after his first major success as a composer, with his fourth violin concerto. This concerto is still very beloved and played by violinists all over the world. He traveled all the world as a soloist. He lived for a while in Frankfurt, he lived in Paris, but in 1871 he returned to Belgium, to Brussels, to become a violin teacher at the conservatory himself. He was uh, very successful as a teacher as well. He had students such as Jeno Hubay and Eugène Isaïe, of course, but he only taught for eight years because in 1879, due to continuous health issues, he had to retire. Two years later, he died in Algiers in a sanatorium. Both as a violinist and as a composer, Vieuxton tried to combine the technical innovations by Paganini with the new Belgian style. This new Belgian style will be discussed more profoundly in future episodes, but it can be considered as a kind of synthesis between the French and the German school but with an added fantastic uh, sonority, uh, remarkable intensity and a lot of expressive power. Uh, virtuosity on sich was never Vieuxton's goal. This virtuosity should always serve the music. Hector Berlioz, the great French composer, perfectly expressed the way Vieuxton's work was greeted with unanimous praise. This is what he wrote. Mr. Vieuxton is a prodigious violinist in the strict, strictest sense of the word. He does things I have never heard done by any other before. He posits frightening danger to the listener, but he stays calm and unshaken, confident that he will succeed. Had Vieuxton not been recognized as such a great virtuoso, he would be acclaimed as a great composer. The future will do justice to his work, of rare beauty, informed order, unwavering presence, majesty and impeccable taste. Wonderful words. I hope to do justice to his legacy with this performance of his second Etude de Concert. Enjoy!
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do like and share it. And if you want to know how Sergei Prokofiev, the famous Russian composer, is connected to the Belgian Violin School, subscribe and you'll find out in two weeks. Tschüss!